Old Man Quill issue 7 sees the Guardians finally reach the destroyed Baxter building, which was dropped on a giant Loki. Heading down towards it, they meet Sergius O'Hulahan, the building's holographic doorman. He says that no one who goes into the building ever comes out, and the team head in as Peter knows there is something familiar about the hologram. Elsewhere in New Lativeria, Doom is told of the rebel attack, as well as how his Doom bots were destroyed when they went to investigate the rebel activity, either by the rebels or by this new hero they have been hearing about. Doom learns that the hero is Star-Lord from the Guardians of the Galaxy, and now there are attacks happening perpetrated by Gladiator around the wasteland as well. The bad news keeps coming as Captain America's shield was stolen from the wreckage of the White House, and it might be linked to the Guardians. Doom is unimpressed and Madame Mask orders more Doom bots out to the wasteland to kill the Guardians. The Guardians meanwhile head deeper underground through the Baxter building, noting that something in the tunnels doesn't like it too bright. Lighting the tunnels, the group find a huge hole leading further down, and going into it, they arrive in more of the building and Mantis can sense that there is a heavily fortified part of the building and Reed Richards' lab up ahead, and this should be where the ultimate nullifier is. Soon they find the lab, where a Hulkbuster armor is charging. The team look for the weapon and soon activate the damaged Herbie robot. The robot tells Peter not to touch the time-traveling device he is leaning on before it suddenly alerts them to a proximity alarm. Going back to the hole they found, Peter sees thousands of Moloids rushing them. The team back off and fight them, but soon their way is blocked by monsters, causing the team and Herbie to become cornered behind a blast door. Peter asks if the robot can open the blast doors and it can, but it needs some time, so the team fight off the monsters. The door opens and they dive through, closing it behind them and escaping the Moloids for now. The team find themselves in a hangar, but nothing is flyable. The Moloids continue to try and get through the door as Peter comes up with a plan to get out. Powering up a half-destroyed helicopter, they open the blast doors, flying the chopper out through the door and using the rotors to cut up all of the monsters. The monsters are all killed, but Peter knows that they can't leave yet since they need the ultimate nullifier, and Rocket wants the Hulkbuster. Gamora knows that they can't as more Moloids arrive, forcing the team to escape towards the entrance. Herbie suddenly warns them of another proximity alarm as Gladiator and his group have found the building as well. Peter readies for a fight, but Gladiator smashes his gun, saying it was honourable for Peter to follow his team's dying wish, but in his madness he has gone to join them. Gladiator wonders how Peter could stop Galactus all alone, but Peter doesn't understand since he isn't alone, he has his team. Suddenly he remembers long ago when the Guardians contacted him on his space station. The message showed Gamora telling Peter that Drax was killed and her and the others will be dead soon thanks to Galactus and Peter is the only one who can beat him. Rocket tells him to find the ultimate nullifier on Earth as Galactus kills the Guardians and the message ends. Peter realises that the team he's been travelling with are a figment of his imagination, making him the last Guardian of the Galaxy who has failed yet another planet. Old Man Quill issue 7 was a huge huge twist this book needed to shake things up as we pass the halfway point of the story. The twist of Peter being the only Guardian left alive was so well done and I didn't see it coming at all. It was a legitimate twist that very rarely happens in comic books these days. It's interesting for what this means for the rest of the series now that Peter will have to survive this mission on basically his own, though he's been doing it pretty much up until now, to destroy Galactus and how exactly he's going to achieve that. Whatever Ethan Sachs has has in store for us, I'm all for and I can't wait to see the fallout from this issue's end next issue. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.